Good morning. We're standing here in Charters Gateway, which is on the eastern outskirts of the village of Wivelsfield Green. And we're here to look at number 29, which is this detached house you're looking at here. Um, this development was only built about four or five years ago by Carla Holmes um, and uh, is now presented for sale in very clean and tidy and neutral decorative order throughout. Uh, the development, I think, has about 70 houses on it, but it's a lovely place. The nice thing about this house is you've got this lovely outlook across the road at this tree line, and then you're right opposite one of the large uh, open green spaces and just down on the eastern edge here you're you're adjoining um, some woodland and footpaths and bridleways so if you're a keen walker or you've got a dog this is a great spot and Wivelsfield is totally surrounded by countryside so you can lose yourself for hours um, the other things just to work in um, worth bearing in mind location wise is we're within walking distance of everything the village has to offer here so you've got the uh, the cock in pub which is a great pub just up the road with a restaurant that's just up the road as is the uh, the village store with its delicatessen and post office and the village primary school which is very well regarded um, children from the village get a school bus from um, Wivelsfield out to Chaley secondary school in nearby South Chaley which again is another fabulous school uh, we're in East Sussex here so that's a fit you are officially in the catchment area area uh, and Chaley School only has about 700 kids in it so it's a it's a really small country secondary school but doing very very well um, so let's have a look at the house so as you can see it's a four bedroom detached house you've got a good driveway alongside for a couple of cars in the garage there's plenty of parking around here these spaces just opposite are just spare spare bays which is good so if you had a few guests coming along then it's a nice place to be so can I have a look inside I'm just gonna put my mask on Here we go, so spacious entrance hall, decent sized space. You've got a cupboard on the left-hand side there, a very big cloakroom with all the very nice Carnine flooring. I think it's Carnine or Antico flooring, but Carl Holmes did a really nice job of this. And little bits of detail you'll see as you go around the house. Even the windows are nice. They're not boring windows. They put a little bit of design in them. Um, obviously turning staircase up to upstairs. I'll take you in there in a sec. And then a fabulous family sized kitchen. So a huge kitchen dining room, kitchen bedroom, kitchen dining room. Double aspect. So again, it's got that nice outlook across the road and down towards the woods there. And this has got most appliances built in. So fridge, freezer, oven and a hob, usual bits and pieces, but a great big bit of space there and plenty of room. As you can see, we've got quite a decent sized table and chairs. We could have a much bigger table and chairs and there's space behind the door there for a sideboard. And then at the back, there's a huge living room. This is really a lounge dining room. When it was built, this was called the lounge stroke dining room. Um, but something the owner has done, which is not standard with these houses, um, he's had a, uh, a, you know, a, a fake chimney built and a wood burning stove uh, installed. Now, anyone who's done, had to do one of these, this is not a cheap process, but keen to have an open fire so it's a proper open wood burner but you'll see when i go outside in a minute you've got a huge uh flue going up the side of the house they alone are more expensive than the fireplaces so and you need a certificate which has all been done so good sized living room here unfortunately we're here on a very dull morning but i'll take you outside in a second and then another big bonus you've got the back door with a utility room plumbing for the usual bits and pieces in here the nice have a back door with a cat flap that's out to the driveway and then come upstairs. Nice bright landing. Obviously airing covered on the landing as well. You've got a big loft hatch there and a nice window to the side. And then going round in no particular order, I think this is the small bedroom, very much the study or the home office, but a nice size room again with that outlook to the front. So, you know, it's fat, mad. We're here at nine o'clock in the morning, so I would have thought there'd be a bit more traffic, but it's a nice little development and there's not many not many houses here so it wasn't overdeveloped and again second bedroom overlooking the front obviously when these leaves are down on these trees you've got a really lovely open view across there it's a good set of wardrobes in this bedroom as well and again it's a nice double family bathroom next door beautifully fitted so it's a decent bath nice vanity unit and a window so plenty of natural ventilation and all fully tiled around the bath and shower area. Massive towel. Rail. And then another bedroom at the back. They're all good sizes. I mean, they're four double bedrooms, which is good. And then that's got the view to the rear over the garden. The owner you'll see is a very keen gardener. So obviously he's only been here four or five years. He's done a lot of planting. There's all sorts of fruit trees out there and various plants and so on. But a good size 
fourth or third bedroom, whichever way you want to look at. And then the main bedroom at the back is another generous double. Again, overlooking the rear garden. Get an idea of the neighbour's garden that side as well. And you've got a double wardrobe behind the door over there and an ensuite shower room. A nice ensuite. Again, another window with natural ventilation. So plenty of space there. But there you go, four bedrooms, two bathrooms upstairs, all very nicely presented and very clean and tidy. So anyone coming in who wants to just change the decorations, very easy to do if you want to. And come and have a look in the garden. So lovely garden. As you can see, we're growing things up the uh, side of the building, various, I think these are uh, sweet peas and so on. And then this garden is stacked. We've got an outside power point there all different apple trees and fruits growing along this fence line here. And if I just look down the side here, you can see what I mean about the fake chimney rest that's been built on. And that's the flue for the wood burning stove. And obviously you've got a nice bit of space down beyond that for logs or composting and so on. But the back garden, it measures 31 feet front to back and 26 feet wide up to the garage. And you've got a very handy shed down the side there. And of course, a garage, which is very well organised. Very much the workshop at the moment. But a good bit of space, very organised in there indeed. Power and lighting. But there you go. That gives you a pretty good idea of number 29 Charters Gateway. It's a four bedroom detached. You can walk to a very good primary school, the village store and pub. You've got countryside on your doorstep. You're 4.5 miles from Hayward Teeth Railway Station. You're 3.2 miles from Wivelsfield Station. And geographically, if you need to get anywhere, you've got the B2112 very close by giving access to there. Hope you like what you see. If you'd like to have a look, please give us a call.